there's a part of me that enjoys making noise um, and I'm wanting to other people to create noise. The exhibition comprises of a series of performances. I invited four singers and one composer, Jackie Dankworth, Poppy Ajuda, Tanita Tikaran, Sophia Jernberg, and Erilyn Wallen to be involved in a kind of improvisation where they might sing together, where they might respond to each other through song. I just think there's something immediately connective about singing a song that may seem strange for a visual art exhibition, but I think that the combination of the visualness of this exhibition, as well as the emotiveness of the singing, I'm wanting really the viewers to feel embraced by the show. So imagine you're Lions. <laughs> we are lions. You are lions, I know. <laughs> but so, a sound that is a sound you wouldn't normally make singing. Ah! That's a good growl. Ah! 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 Erin had been brought in to kind of guide and lead these three singers into an improvisation session. She's asking them to do certain things that kind of both get them warmed up, but also get them run, to kind of start run, to play run, with their voice. Run, 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 run. This is kind of the iconic moment, you could say, for the whole project of just actually trying something out and seeing how it goes and, and then playing with it, which is where the title of the whole exhibition comes from, Feeling Her Way. Literally, it's about exploration and just kind of sensing, all right, I'm going to go in this direction and just seeing where it goes. It's very intimate, actually, what we're seeing. And one of the things we talked about a lot as well was to kind of trust in the creative process and trust in the project. And that sense of trust was very strong on the day. People talked about that. You know, much of what I do is about improvisation, about just bringing people into the space and say, OK, what are we going to do here? And just seeing what unfolds. So that's the very first room. And much of that took place at Abbey Road Studios, all in one morning, actually. And then in the afternoon, I filmed each performer performing something that they wanted to do. Some of it was improvised, something that they had in mind that they wanted to bring to that day. So the following rooms are of the individual performers. Each room has wallpaper, and it uses the same geometric template, but all of the material that populates the wallpaper is taken from the production stills taken on the day that the performances were taking place. So from your earliest work in the 80s all the way through, wallpaper is kind of the, the backdrop almost, and it's consistent through your practice and comes up many, many times. Now there's a moment in the song that Jackie was singing where she overdubs with these chimes, these single note chimes. And they were really extraordinary and quite emotional actually. So then the invitation to Sophia was, okay, would you respond to this one minute of sound? So there is basically what I'm calling a duet. I've been doing a very long project called The Devotional Project, which looks at a history of black British female, mainly singers, but women in the music industry that we know and love and have been part of our lives. Because there isn't a museum, there isn't an official 
institution that has this material, I, I've suddenly taken on the bearer of the responsibility. And the devotional collection is very much an ever-growing archive. So um, when spending any time with Sonia, if she walks past a shop that might possibly have in it secondhand music, as a kind of, it's almost like part anthropology, part fan, part music obsessed, abs obsessed um, creature. Yeah. And because she'll go in to explore what's there. The voices of the women is still what you're very much exploring and one of the reasons that we see the women on screen as they sing, we don't just hear their voices, is so that you're aware that physically this one person with their breath is putting this into the world or you're responding to another person. The performers' responses to what I've done is the thing that I'm most nervous about because they haven't had a chance to know what they are, where they're going to be placed, what's, what's happened to the images of them, the sound of them, um, what sense I've made of that very short moment in time when we're all together. Best case scenario for me would be that people are touched by the work, like emotionally touched by the work, and have managed to get through what I think is slightly the madness of the show to actually want to come back and sit with it.